One thing's for sure, Vivian, I can't fathom being part of a screaming fanatic crowd like that. Can you? I mean, are you really a K-pop fan? I do know. I've never been much of a Korean pop fan. <laughs> but I do know that the K-pop scene here in Singapore is huge. Yes, it's so big that it caused massive chaos at 313 at Somerset when a swarm of die-hard Korean pop fans descended upon the mall to buy tickets for Korean Pop Night 2010. A fan actually fainted from the ordeal and was allowed to rest inside the mall while another suffered breathing difficulties but refused to leave for the hospital in an ambulance. Police had to be called later at night to help manage the situation, plus it also caused a slight traffic hiccup as curious drivers slowed down alongside to check out the commotion. Mm, that's a pretty intense crowd. With a size like that, I'll definitely be capable about what's going on. Yeah, it's no doubt that K-pop fans would go all out just to get their tickets. Just like Stumper Crushed, who was one of those queuing, who said, It's the concert of the year with all my favourite K-pop bands like Shiny and Big Bang. I could not miss it for the world. Hence, I was there with my friends since Wednesday night trying to see if I could somehow make it to the start of the queue. Everyone was shouting and squeezing. Being in the queue was also not a pleasant experience for Stomper Tired of Queues, who commented, I wish the organisers had managed this properly, and thus we would have avoided being squeezed to death. Plus, we could see the ugly side of Singaporeans. Pushing, shoving, shrieking, even lying down on the floor and sleeping in a public place. So unglam! Well, they don't call them diehard fans for nothing. Anyway, this K-pop bonanza has stood up quite a debate among Stompers, but some Stompers offered their reasons for the chaos. Like Stomper What's Up Tweety said, Nobody expected the situation to get really messy on Friday night. The security mall, HMV staff and the police were hopeless in controlling the situation. Maybe it was the first time it was more than 3,000 people who thronged 313 Somerset at the same time to buy tickets. Hmm, yep. Some Stompers did offer a few tips on how the chaos could have been avoided. Status Singaporeans suggested to prevent cults like this, make buying tickets online. First book, first get. While Stomper XOXY Gen X said, I think next time they should have the ticket selling at the expo hall. At least it's big and it won't affect the shoppers there as well. Those are good points. Yeah, I yeah. think the organisers didn't count on such a huge turnout and they were ill prepared for it. Yeah, I don't think it would have been that difficult a task to sell the tickets at a bigger arena. But you know, Vivian, this isn't the only time K-pop has caused quite a stir. Why am I not surprised? In June this year, these unruly fans of Korean boy band Beast caused a commotion at IMM rushing across the road in spite of approaching cars. One stomper witnessed it. The crowd was damn messy and fans were rushing across the road without looking for the cars approaching them. Fans were even crying. Hmm. Talk about being blinded by, well, K-pop love. Stomper Cookie Elmo summed it up pretty well. He said, Oh my god, they should care more about their life instead of Beast. Well, couldn't have said it better myself. The other incident happened in July where Stomper Kim Lee queued for 9 hours to watch Korean boy band 2AM at IMM but ended up being blocked by these girls who stood on stools in front of everyone and even bragged that they were being clever. Clever. You know, one girl even said smugly to a friend, this kind of stuff must use your wits. Whoever used their wits will win. Oh, the lengths at which these K-pop fangirls will go to astounds me. Well, I guess I can understand that they wanted a good view, but they should be at least considerate to others standing behind them. Exactly. Stomper Nasty Boy had a comical take on things, saying these girls are so short that they need stools to view, and you're still unhappy with them. Only Kateks need stools to view what is in front of a crowd, so be more understanding lah. Yeah, Kateks like me. Anyway, I think with Korean pop getting hotter by the day, these stories will just keep coming no matter what. Up next, we find out just how secure some things are in Singapore.